All right, for today, our word will be coming from Psalm 100. Joyful. Yeah. Uh-huh. Free. <laughs> and when you have it, I ask that you stand to your feet if you are able. I guess y'all say, we're on a roller coaster today, going up and down, standing up, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. This is for the Lord. <laughs> If you have it, say amen. 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 Not hold on. Hallelujah. And it reads, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with glad gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yes, he is. It is he that hath made us, not and not we ourselves. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are his and the sheep of his pasture. Enter. This is the good verse right here. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yes, sir. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. One more time. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. And his mercy and and his truth endured to all generations. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting. Therefore, always, infinity and beyond, says like us, like the earth. And his truth endured to all generations. Uh -huh. You could remain standing where we go to uh, the posture of prayer. Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the supreme grand master of the universe, we come to you right now thanking you, Lord, for this day that you have allowed us to see. Lord, when it's past and gone on, we will never see it again. Thank you, Lord, that last night was not our last night. Our bed was not our cooling board, and our sheets were not our winding sheets. Right now, Lord, while we are under one roof, I ask that you have this word be used, Lord God. Not me, but this word, Father God, be used to Allow someone to know the reason they should be thankful. It is in your son Jesus Christ's name. We pray and ask it all. And all of God's children say it together. Amen. 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 Preacher Gibbs. When I was asked to um, talk about this, um, talk about thanks. I found it hard to find something to think about. I began to think, how can you preach about thankfulness? How can I reach the uh, congregation talking about thankfulness? Then I began to look around and I could see all the blessings God had given me. I thought about the trials and tribulations he had brought me through. I thought about the battles he helped me win. I was reminded of the valleys he brought me out of, the mountains he brought me over. Can you talk to me, somebody? Maybe God has been good to you, has done anything for you, but all you need is a memory. Do you remember when he paid your light bill? When he put food on your table? When he gave you a new job? When he put, when he made a deposit hit your bank account? Do you remember when he spared your mother's life? Do you remember when he put clothes on your back? Maybe, maybe that's too far away. Do you remember when he brought you to this church this morning without uh -huh. giving you no accident. You ought to be thankful. Uh -huh. yeah. When he just allowed you to take your another breath, you ought to be thankful. Come on, somebody. Can you recall when he filled your gas tank? Uh -huh. Do you remember when he, put, when he paid your tuition? Yeah. I guess I'll talk to Good. someone who's been through some stuff. Yeah. Self, do you remember when he put a roof over your head? Yeah. Do, do you remember when he paid your mortgage? Oh, you said it ain't happened yet? Praise him in the van. Yeah. Anyway, just go ahead and praise him. Watch yourself now. Let me, let, let me press on before I start something. Okay. <laughs> Today, we will talk about the word thanks and break down exactly why we should give thanks. Bear with me as I use the six letters that make up the word thanks to give you six reasons to be thankful. The first letter in thanks is T. You should have already known that, but if you don't, now you know. <laughs> the, the letter T teaches us how to be thankful of little faith. Yeah. It te teaches. 
My Bible scholars could attest, can attest that God is a faith tester. Yes. We walk around saying, yes, I'm a faithful person. Yes, I believe God will provide for me, all this type of stuff. But I believe that he's a way maker. I believe that he, he'll see me through. But when it's time to take a leap of faith, we are afraid of sinking. I remember when God tested Peter out on the ship. God appeared before him and his other disciples by walking on water. And Peter became doubtful that it wasn't the son of man. Y'all are familiar with the text. So Peter said, if you, if, if you can call me out to you, I will come to you. And Jesus did that just that. He called Peter out of his comfort zone, which is the ship. He allowed Peter to walk on water, but Peter began to lose focus and started to sink. Just when he started to sink, he said, Lord, save me. And Jesus saved him. Haters would say, yes, he walked on water, but he still sunk. But faith, test, faith walkers would say, no, 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 he didn't sink. He began to sink. Don't be afraid to start sinking. A lot of your haters didn't sink because they haven't taken no leap. They are stagnant in life. They haven't stepped out of their comfort zone. They're too busy driving the boat. Sometimes we have to step out of the boat and have some water walking faith. That's good. Sinking is a part of the process. In our lives, we ask God to show Himself to us. Reveal to us who he are or what he want us to do and when we when he give us the answers to our request we lose faith Keep your faith He will keep you in perfect peace submit to him. He will deliver you from your troubles Don't worry if you can't see it. You have faith faith is the sub, sub, substance of things hoped for uh -huh. the evidence of things That's the word you know, There you go. Y'all know your word. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Don't worry if you can't see it. When things, when times get rough, give thanks. When the doctor gives you a bad report, give thanks. When you are depressed, give thanks. When you are hopeless, give thanks. When you are sick, give thanks. When your money is low, give thanks. When your friends have left you, give thanks. The Bible says in everything you do, give thanks. If we are children of the Most High, we should know that sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with for glory who, which shall be revealed in us. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord. Yes, hardships are here. Yes, you are suffering. But the word declares for the creation waits with eager, longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creations are subjected to fertility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it. And hope that creation itself will be set free from the bondage of, to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. God's word is everlasting and true. Yes, sir. The third letter is A. A teaches us uh, to give thanks because God adjusted our A attitude. This is a short point and plays into the next letter, N. There are times in our life where we would pick up, we would be quick to jump up to conclusions and square up with just about anybody. <laughs> But now we are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. My God. <laughs> At times, there are people who, for, who forget that you still have a little ways to go and they try to and they attempt to try your gangster. Uh -huh. But I need to tell y'all, try Jesus, not me. <laughs> they don't know that you have a, uh, a few family members and a few friends who, who aren't as saved as you. Uh -huh. and who don't mind pulling up to the scene. Uh -huh. In a heartbeat. Come on now. Be right there. Don't act like your family is all put together well off. Oh living God. like the Johnsons. We are thankful that God has taught us to watch our tongue. Yes. When the auntie that can't cook volunteers to bring the mac and cheese. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> or when the other aunt decides that she will host the Thanksgiving dinner. And, and even though she got uh, rats and, and roaches. And all that so come on. We watch our tongue. Yeah. Don't act like you're all saved. It's a time in your life. Come on, somebody. <laughs> we are thankful that God reaches us to hold together our tongue yes. in those moments. Let her end discuss giving thanks to God for end, not giving up on you. Yes. When you are lost in the world of sins, God waited on you. 
Yes. When you strayed away, God waited on you. Yes. God waited on you when you strayed away. God waited on you. Don't act like you you always been saved. When you was down at Magic City, Blue Flame and Britney, God waited on you. Oh, it's a little, um, it's a little quiet now. Hello, somebody. Through all those things, God kept you. You held on to those lessons you learned as a child, and God's word still proves itself true to you. Train up a child in a way that he should go, and when they grow old, they will not depart from it. He came, kept his promises. Uh -huh. You are righteous. You shall never be forsaken. You are, the, you are the seed of the almighty God. You will never beg for bread. The Lord promised a lot of things to us. Keep on holding on to his unchanging hands. He said he, said he, he will fight for us. You need only to be still. Hold still, brothers and sisters. He gives strength to the weary uh -huh. and power to the weak. Yes. He renews the strength of those who wait on him. Yes. Anybody here waiting on the Lord? Yes. He yes. said that, that he's with us. Do not fear. He takes you by your right hand. When the mountains shake and the hills move, you shall not be moved. Yes. Though the storms keep on raging in your life, yes. and it seems too hard to find the night, it seems hard to tell the night from day. Remember that hope that lies within will reassure. Uh -huh. Keep your eyes upon the distant shore and watch the Lord lead you to that blessed place He has prepared. Yes. When the Lord seems, when the storm seems like they won't cease and the winds keep blowing in your life, remember your soul is anchored in the Lord. Your waves and currents may toss you, but remember that you are anchored in the Lord. Despite the tide, you are unmovable. When weapons form against you, they shall not prosper. He shall loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke. He will give you power to cast away demons. He's Jehovah Yahweh, our Lord. Jehovah Nisi, my banner. Jehovah for me. Jehovah Rapha, my shepherd. I shall not want. Jehovah Rapha, our Lord who heals. Heals up, heal us. Jehovah Shammah, the, the, the Lord who is there, reveal yourself in us. Jehovah uh, Sikhanu, uh, the Lord who is righteous. Jehovah El Elohim, our God. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. The Lord provide for us. Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Jehovah uh, uh, Sabbath, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Umkadash, the one who sanctifies. He said that he would be a way maker and a promise keeper. Has he made a way for anyone today? Can he keep his promises? Yes, and that's why we give thanks. That is why, that is, that is what he promised that he would do. He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's a battle axe. He's a doctor that never lost a patient and never went to no medical school. He's a lawyer that, that never lost a case and writes out, oh, he's a doctor and he writes out all my prescriptions. Y'all may call it a pharmacist, but I call it Jesus, the one who healed the world. Jesus, the one who made crooked faces straight. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, the son of man. Jesus, the supplier of all my needs. Jesus, the one who turned water into wine. Jesus, the one who made blind men see the deaf hear and the lame walk. Jesus, the one who made the dead rise again. Jesus, the one who fed a multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus, the I am the I am. Jesus, my rock, my sword, and my shield. Jesus, the Alpha and the Omega, beginning and the end. Jesus, the grand architect of the universe, Morgan. Jesus, the regulator, boy. Jesus, the source and strength, Robinson. Jesus, the help and hope, Weber. Jesus, my supplier of my needs, Jordan. Jesus, the student loan payer, Monte. Jesus, the surgeon, Copa. Jesus, the one who spared my family, Shawan. Jesus, the one who got me past my test, EJ. Jesus, the one who blessed my organization, Kevin. And Jesus, the one who has saved my soul. Ain't he all right? Ain't he good? Watch yourself, He opened doors for you. He put clothes on your back and shoes on your feet. He loves us. Oh, he loves us indeed. He came through 42 generations and did wonderful works. He proclaimed that he was the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, the Son of Man. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. He was mocked so that he could live, so that we could live to see his face again.